Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Meetsy69. Welcome back to the channel. What do they mean? What do the letters mean on certain tanks? Now, this is a completely new kind of video. That's something that I've never made before. In there's two reasons. One, I've never done this kind of video before, and the second one is I've actually had to write shit down. Like I don't write shit down when it comes to videos, but got my bit of paper. Uh, so today we're going to talk about what the different letters mean on each of these tanks. So for example, E100, or you have the, the WZ113, or the FV215B, etc. We're going to talk about more of, I, I don't know history or anything like that. So you guys that know history of like the tanks, etc., world wars, I don't know any of that. So I've never known what these uh, mean and i was just sitting there like yesterday thinking like i don't even know why i was just sitting there like what does that what 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 does fv mean like fv215b like i was like what does it mean so it got me googling it and it got me sort of okay maybe i could do this as a video for those of you that don't know what they mean um so i do have to apologize in advance because some of these uh, i won't be able to uh, pronounce but we're going to start off with the fv so obviously we have a few fvs out there fv4 double a5 fv215b fv4202 FV etc and the fv in those for the british tanks actually mean fighting vehicle so yes the fv if, you, if that's what you've always wanted to know uh, and you can't be bothered to type it in google FV for the British tanks means fighting vehicle. Uh, along with the British tanks, the other British tanks that lead on to the FVs, you have things like the AT-15, AT-7, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so the AT in them actually stands for assault tank. So, yeah, something that you didn't ever know. Uh, something that I didn't ever know. So moving on to the German, the German VK. Obviously, there's quite a few uh, VKs out there. The VK100, the VK72. Um, and again, just before I pronounce this, I'm ever so sorry for you German guys uh, that I'm, I'm about to, what I'm about to try and attempt. So the VK actually stands for... Uh, Versch, oh my god, Verschach, Verschach, Champ, Va oh, do you know what? I'm just going to put it on the screen because I have no idea how to say this. It's basically the term, in it's a German term, meaning research experimental fighting vehicle, basically. So, uh, uh, used in the names of some German er experimental or prototype tanks before. Uh, produced before and during World War II. So the VK term was also referred to as Voltketten. Voltketten, which means fully tracked. So I do apologize. I'm not even, again, that was uh, an abysmal attempt at pronouncing VK. But as I've said, I'll put it on the screen as to what that actually means. So moving on, we have some IS tanks, the Russian tanks. Uh, so the IS, what does the IS? Now, this is a bit confusing because in Russian, obviously, it is a bit different. Um, it's obviously the, the language, the, the wording, the alphabet, everything like that is completely different. So the IS actually stands for Joseph Stalin. Um, obviously, it's or Yosef Stalin in, in Russian, I, I O S. Like I N or whatever, but obviously changed to the English uh, dictionary. Blah blah blah. It actually means uh, it should actually be J S instead of I S. If you, if that's what you uh, if you want to go all technical. So Joseph Stalin is is actually the the I S, and uh, I think a lot of you may have may already already know that but i didn't i didn't okay this is new to me so again going back to the german tanks obviously you have some tanks like the e100 and the e75 so what does the e stand for well basically they are commonly known as the e series it's the e series tanks you've, you've got a few out there e25 um and the e in that again i'm so sorry uh, for, for the pronunciation it is uh entwickling Entwickling, which basically means development. So they are development tanks. So yeah, uh, again, something that I never ever knew. Um, 
Now, the Chinese tanks, the WZ. <laughs> oh, I'm going to get so... Uh, uh, people are going to be angry at me for these uh, pronunciations. But the WZ, you've got quite a few WZs. Most uh, Chinese tanks are WZ. And again, if you change it to, to English, the W in the WZ means... Uh, is Wookie, something like Wookie, which means weapon, and the Z is uh, Shangzag, Shangzaz Hunchi, so Shangzaz Hunchi, which basically means armored combat vehicle. So yeah, Wookie Zhangzag Hunchi is actually uh, the, the WZ in those tanks. Now the Russian tanks, you have the the T, so you have say like the the T thirty four. Basically, the T-34, uh, the T in that actually stands for Tigash, Tigash, which uh, which means uh, tractor. Uh, so yeah, there's there's a few things that you uh, you didn't know. Um, also, I've got here. What does T stand for in Russian tanks? Uh, what does the, it's basically tank uh, is borrowed from W World War One English code for tracked armored vehicles. Right, man whatever uh, so we're going to go now finally to the french tanks the amx now this is a bit more difficult so the amx you've got the amx 50b and and so on it actually means oh my god atelier atelier de construction de lisi les molyneux basically what that is is construction workshop isi les molyneux i think what that is is the where they were produced where them tanks were were made and produced and that is what the amx stands for in in front of the 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 french tanks so that is your history lesson for today um so did you know any of these guys because literally i knew none of them I, I kind of like when reading it i kind of remembered sort of the is and i kind of knew the the vk but i knew i could never pronounce what what it actually means um, so, if you know any different, is Google wrong? Does this mean anything? Uh, is any? Did you think it meant something else? Uh, but I do have to thank um, uh, Fugit because he did help me. Also, there is the just one to add the American tanks. You have say like the T fifty seven. The T literally stands for tank, and you have tanks like the M one hundred three and the M forty six Patton, and that actually the M on the US uh, USA tanks actually stands for model so yeah that's something hopefully you guys didn't know and now you you do know so you're gonna now play this game with a completely different mindset knowing just what these uh, all these different letters mean in the game um, I just thought it'd be something different you know I've never done this kind of video before I'm not really a, a I'm not a history freak a tank freak I know nothing apart from the game I know nothing uh, about tanks like in in real life or anything like that. I know absolutely nothing I don't know which tanks is real which tanks fake which tank tanks are prototypes I literally know nothing about tanks So uh, I thought it was a good history lesson for me sort of reading up on this and thinking you know what actually I should know what these uh, these numbers or these letters mean. I'm not going to go into numbers like fe 4202 I have no idea. I think that may be just the the, I, I don't know. I don't even know. The 4,202 second tank. I don't. I don't freaking know. But I hope you guys actually learned something from this video. I hope you didn't know what they mean. And now you do. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. I'm Meaty69. And I will catch you all in the next one. Bye bye.